Okay, minimize the damage this time. But what about the next time? I can't see the future, Theron. Well, not often, at any rate. Not exactly reassuring. But I'll admit, it could have been a lot worse. I said I'd give him a shot, so I'll give him a shot. I've made arrangements for a bit of redecorating on Odessan. But it will take some time before we're issued enough banners, uniforms, and so on. But that can all wait, I suppose. There's supposedly a pretty crazy party happening up in the officer's lounge. I can behave, if you want to go. Sounds like fun. Let's go. It's just this way. Hey, thanks again for finding me that bottle. Of course. If you need anyone to share it, count on it. Mind if I borrow her a minute? We can catch up later. Pretty crazy stuff, huh? Osus wasn't even that long ago. We've already made it through so much. That's war, I suppose. Still, most grunts aren't lucky enough to work with the deadliest fighter in the entire galaxy. Which reminds me, congratulations, contest winner. Your prize is in the mail. I'd like to dedicate my killing achievements to the many, many people who've tried to get in my way over the years. Never miss an opportunity for practice. I actually came to talk about something else. Back on Corellia, I didn't actually make it out with the rest of the shuttles. Got caught under some falling debris and all the chaos. I wouldn't have made it out at all if they hadn't lent me a hand. Who? A fellow Sith. You're the one who tried to kill me on Mech Shah. Don't take it personally. It was a test. Nothing more. A test you actually passed. What are you talking about? I am Lord Scourge, once a loyal servant of the Empire. Kira Carson, Jedi Knight. Not thrilled to be here. All three of us have fought the same enemy. The former Sith Emperor, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Valkorian, whatever you wish to call him. We know he was once a part of you. And we both felt his destruction, but he has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire circumstances. Now, we are sure. I don't see Jedi and Sith cooperating very often outside of my alliance. How did you end up working together? That is a very long story. We can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessen. It should be safe for us to talk there. About what? The final, gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. We're here. Now tell me what this is all about. As I told you on Viking Space Dock, Tenebrae's last gruesome weapon. He sought immortality, but only his endless spite survives now. I was his most powerful servant once. His wrath. But I learned of his true nature and plotted his downfall for centuries. Ultimately, I saw what had to be done, and betrayed my empire in order to destroy its creator. That is how I came to fight alongside Kira. We fought the Emperor's servants constantly for years. We even thought we'd beaten him alongside my master. Then Yavin 4 happened. And Valkorion. I received guidance from an old ally. Instead of seeking out our enemy in his current shell, you, as it turns out, we sought a different target. Tenebrae hid his original body where no one could harm it. As long as that body remained in stasis, the galaxy's greatest evil could never truly be killed. Unless we destroyed Tenebrae, the fight against Valkorion would never really be over. Since Valkorion is gone, I assume you succeeded. We did. 
As we later learned, we destroyed his first body just as you purged the last vestige of his twisted spirit from your mind. That is when his final weapon was unleashed. A Sith ritual, carved into his very flesh, unleashed an ancient plague from every molecule of his decaying corpse. We were both knocked out cold, comatose for more than a year. Satil Shan was the one who finally pulled us out of that nightmare, and started a new one. Like you, Kira and I have both been vessels for a portion of Tenebrae's power. It acted as a sort of vaccine. But Satil had no such protection, nor did any of her followers. Within days, they were all laid low, trapped in a nightmarish slumber. In helping us, they unknowingly doomed themselves. This ritual, what can you tell me about it? Nothing. We lost consciousness even as we felt it taking shape. The infection is worsening. There is a darkness growing among the afflicted. We can feel their minds connecting, communicating. We're afraid they might be... merging somehow. Merging into what? Another Valkorian? Is this plague bringing him back somehow? It's too early to make that conclusion. Whatever it is, it is immensely dangerous. We must stop it. How? We loaded Satil and all of her followers onto a transport to keep them quarantined, along with a few medroids to tend to them. The transport is programmed to fly a random course through unsettled sectors of the Outer Rim, all weeks away from civilization. I can send a signal to alter the course, bring it to another empty system that's closer so that we can meet it in a shuttle. We board the ship, and connect our minds with yours through the Force. Together, we will face this entity and purge it from existence. And if we cannot purge it, then we destroy the transport and hope we've ended the old monster's schemes forever. Valkorion was in my mind for a long time. What if connecting with this entity makes it stronger instead of weaker? It won't. That is why we tested you as we did. To make sure that no trace of him remained. You will not strengthen this entity. Only destroy it. It's gonna take a while for the transport to come back into range. Then we should stay here until it does. If you require any assistance in the meantime, don't hesitate to ask. Not so fast. I'm not fighting the Republic or the Jedi, so if that's what you want, definitely hesitate to ask. Ignore her. If necessary, I can slay enough of your enemies for both of us. Ugh. She grows on you. Eventually. 